Hello, my name is Caitlin Randolph, and this is just a 10-minute back tip oh, for those loving shoulders of yours. Um, most of us are experiencing a significant amount of pain in this area of the back of our body. And it's ultimately our body really trying to take care of us. We spend most of our time hunching downwards, stretching downwards on computers and phones. And so what's happening is our back body is really, really overstretched. It's like doing a yin pose all day long for eight hours while you work. So we're gonna give those shoulder blades a hug and kind of re-wrap them back in. So they kind of have a little bit of a, oh shush, stop stretching so much. Grab two blocks. If you don't have blocks, I'll show you what other option you can do. Put the first block underneath your head, nice and tall. The second block, low. You can start at the lowest setting or it's medium setting, depending on where your shoulders are today. If you're experiencing a lot of pain and you aren't um, a super back bendy person, start low. Put the tips of your shoulder blades onto the block. Feet on the floor, hips might be on a blanket, and adjust the block further back most likely once you get there. Shrugging your shoulder blades together, flip your palms up and just take a moment to shove those shoulder blades together and give those overstretched muscles the hug that they need. Take a big breath here. You can stay here for a few rounds of breath. If you do not have blocks, your option is to take a blanket and to roll it up. If you have a pillow, that might also be helpful in this one. Folding your blanket up, same idea. Place it on the tips of the shoulder blades, like the bra strap line, lower it down onto it. Your head should still touch the floor. If your head doesn't touch the floor, put another blanket or something underneath it so that it is supported in some way. Our goal here is to have something underneath the shoulder blades so our shoulder blades can push together and we can relax into the heart space. Our connective tissue, our fascia, is overstretched and it's compensating with that with a lot of aches and pains and tightening up. So ultimately, the aches and pains you feel in your shoulders, in your neck, is your body saying, hey, I think my head is falling off, so I'm gonna get really tight in the back of my body to prevent my head from falling off. Finding relaxing, restorative poses where you can find ease with your shoulders open wide, with breath, in the chest, it teaches the body, it retrains the muscle memory that this is also a safe space. We hunch in the womb, we hunch around our heart when we're in grief, it is a safe space to round. And don't try to beat yourself up over that, just instead find new safe spaces to soften into. The collarbones get a bit more breathing room. <sighs> Last few breaths here. <sighs> if you would like to take this further, you're welcome to stretch your arms overhead and maybe you dangle your arms behind you, hooking your thumbs, or maybe you hold opposite elbows, framing the ears. If you did this and it's too intense, come back to your sides. If your legs were straight and you went here, you might find the need to rebend them. You can take any leg variation that the low back is okay with. If your arms have been reached overhead, switch the cross of your arms, other hand on top, and ease full into it. Last breath here. Release the arms, stretch them out, and exhale them back to your sides. Bring your feet to the floor if they are anywhere else besides there. And gently roll off of your side into a, onto your side into a fetal position. Use your arm as a pillow to catch you as you roll. Take a few moments here to settle, to breathe into the spot where the props were just digging into the spine. Big inhales into the back. Big exhales. Gently bringing yourself up to seated. Find a comfortable seat, maybe that's crossing your ankles and likely sitting up onto a blanket so your hips can soften into the shape. 
take some little circles. We do a lot of up and down. Explore your diagonals and your circular range of motion to massage the spine, switch your circles. If you're feeling a lot of discomfort, you might wanna keep it tiny, like little belly dancer circles. If it feels good to sway big, you are welcome to do so. Coming all the way back up to seated. Twists are medicine from the spine. Switch the cross of your legs, taking our last little motions in twists. Take a big breath in. Exhale, twist. Stay light on your back fingertips. So rather than like leaning back there, stay really nice and light and puff your chest up. Head can be anywhere that feels good. Tailbone down, heart strong. When we picture things of confidence and pride, we often imagine this like heart booming forward into a room. Allow yourself to find that shape here and see if it brings some of those qualities of courage, pride into the practice. Inhale, arms back up, big breath in. Exhale, twist, tailbone down, elbows broad and bent, chest open and breathing. Head looks anywhere that it feels good to look. <sighs> Relax the hips if you can. So if you've ever like twisted and like popped your back, I don't love the popping part, but your instincts are right on about twists feeling really good for an achy spine. Last breath here. Inhale, arms up to the sky, big breath in. Exhale, hands behind the back and go ahead and straighten out the legs just a little bit. Bend your knees, put your heels on the floor and flex your feet to the sky. Now this forward fold is not for your hamstrings, though you might feel it there. It's more for your back. So keep your knees bent, grab the backs of the legs and maybe you need to bring your feet further apart, that's fine. Big breath in. Settle your chest between your thighs or on your thighs as much as comfortable. This will force you to breathe a little bit more into your low back and breath is massage. Take a big breath in. Maybe lift your chest a little bit and if it feels good to scoot your legs out a little bit more, you can, as long as you're maintaining contact with the thighs. Don't worry about touching the feet. Maybe grab the backs of the knees or calves. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, rising back up. And if you would like to take a Shavasana, you are welcome to do so by putting some pillows and some props under the knees to ease your back pain a little bit more and lowering yourself down. We'll have just a few moments here together, but if you would like to lay here longer, rest is also the best medicine for the back. Big breath in. Big exhale out. Two more breaths here. Can you imagine your breath like massage for the spine? Big inhales to open, expand. Big exhales to squeeze, contract. Stay here as long as you like. If you'd like to roll up and meet us seated, be there for you. Hands at heart center. Our peak pose in life has nothing to do with handstands. Our peak pose in life is being able to sit, to lay, to walk comfortably. Start from there today. Big breath in. <sighs> Thank you for taking care of yourself today. Namaste.